Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. The day has finally arrived, the day of purple polish appreciation. I'm talking about my 10 favorite purples. Well, I couldn't narrow it down to 10. Sorry guys, this is my favorite color of polish, my favorite color of life. And so I kind of had to fudge a little bit. So um, you're gonna see a certain number of beautiful purples today. Um, there's, I think there's like 14, okay? So, you know, I tried my best. I also have, um, a few like bonuses that are so similar to the polish I'm mentioning I'm just going to mention them as well so that you instead you know you could pick up one or the other if you can't find one so we're going to go ahead and get started because this might be too long if I don't go ahead and get started anyway um yes let's go ahead and these are in no particular order so I'm just going to start out with the one I have on my nails this is native war paint sweater dress and I felt so hard for this polish this year. I actually like it as a topper, um, and I'll tell you why. It's it's nice on its own at two coats, but you can still like see a little bit of the nail through. I actually think as a topper, you can just use like one coat of this over, you know, anything else. I actually put it over a, uh, like a light gray today, and um, I just really love it. Of course. It looks, the, all the polishes in that collection look absolutely divine if you put a top coat on it. So that's how I'm wearing it. That's how I'm going to show it to you. Um, Native War Paints sweater dress. I fell super hard. And like I said, these are in a certain order, but definitely one of my top purples this year. Alright, so that's an indie polish for you. There's a couple of other indies coming up. We're going to go something super the other direction. This is a spoiled polish, and I know that spoiled isn't being sold anymore at CVS. This one is has been one of my favorites for many years, and it still made the cut again this year. This is Armor Made's Real. It's kind of similar to what I just showed you, but the gold shimmer in this is way, way stronger than Sweater Dress. They're similar, but they're different. You'll see. Um, Something that's really similar to this though is um, also by Wet n Wild which owned Spoiled so I think that they might actually be the exact same polish. So if you are able to find um, Happy Hour Hop by Wet n Wild, they're basically the same but I super super duper love this one. Alright, um, I have three polishes here that are very similar, so I'm going to kind of group them together, but I really love all of them. I wouldn't necessarily call them dupes for each other, but they're like um, basically a light purple, like a neon light purple. It's not exactly neon neon, but they're just very, very bright. So the first one that's a good example of this kind of purple that I love, and I love this polish for its formula, this is Lamasca Jomina, and it looks like this here, just a gorgeous cream. These are all creams. They don't have shimmer in them, these three. Um, one that also is very similar to it, this is French Lilac by American Apparel. And so the reason that I like these polishes is that they're just very clean looking and very bright without being neon. So another polish that's very similar, this is Sinful Colors Mad About Hue. So all three of those, they kind of... Any of them will work. They're very similar to each other, but as you can see, they're not really exact dupes, but they're very similar. I love them all. Um, I don't know. I think these two probably uh, take the cake even a little bit more than the simple colors, but if you have the simple colors, it's similar enough. So definitely love all three of these. All right, another indie that I have for you in my top purples of this year. Um, this is 40 Winks by Super Chick Lacquer. This is the only like hollow hollow that I'm putting in here that's just like a straight creamy formula with 
packed with hollow. I love this one so hard. I just barely became acquainted with it. It's from the Dreamology collection and it's just absolutely delicious. Prepare to be amazed. Another polish um, that I have for you that I absolutely love. I think this one made my tops last year, so I apologize if you were hoping to see all new things. Um, this is Finger Paint Stance Till Dawn. So this is an example of a very dark purple that it's like a multi-hued or like it's kind of like a multi-chrome, but they don't they didn't advertise it that way, and it also have, has flakies, so it's like deep plummy purple. Then it's also got blue in there, and then it's got these gold flakies. Just absolutely delicious. So. Let's take a look at this bad boy. All right, next up, I love like a really, really light, like almost white out purple um, that's still a little bit bright. OPI You're Such a Budapest is a really, really great example of that, but I actually can't find mine today. I have no idea where it is. Um, it's somewhere in this house, but actually there's Simple Colors polish that's basically just almost the exact same color, and this is Simple Colors Candy Coated. So either of those two will work fine. This is the one I have in front of me to show you. It's like almost a periwinkle purple. It's a purple that's so, like, rides that line between blue and purple, but instead of a dark version, it's very, very light. So, um, this is the one I'm going to show you today, Candy Coated by Simple Colors. another absolutely divine indie that just takes my breath away every time I look at this polish. This is by the brand Polish and it's called Blake, Blake, Black Lace Elderberry, sorry, Black Lace Elderberry. Um, and it's like a deep kind of figgy purple with this bright orange and gold glitter going through it and it's just such a cool concept. I love this so much. Thank you Jessica for giving this to me. Um, yeah. Just absolutely amazing. I don't know if you're able to get this polish anymore. Some of these in here, I'm afraid that I'm not just being able to tell you, like, go out and purchase this here. But that's not really what this video is about. I'm just kind of, like, telling you what my favorite purples are. And we can rejoice in the spirit of the purple polish. Alright, I have two Zoya polishes that made the cut this year. Um, I have to admit, it's not like a super steep cut. I was letting a lot of stuff in, but there's so much goodness out there. Um, it's, it's steep for me since I have a lot of purple polish. The first one is Zoya Aurora. I know I said that um, the Super Chick was the only hollow. I was wrong. This one does have hollow in it too, but this is a little bit different. The hollow in here, sorry if you can hear Lincoln. The hollow in here is. Um, bigger pieces to where it presents itself in um, just much not it's not a gritty appearance but you'll see it's just um, you can just see you can spot the hollow much more whereas the super chick lacquer one the hollow was like seamlessly going throughout it like it was a part of the polish rather than like you could tell that they mixed hollow little tiny bits of glitter in this one yeah, that's how I want to say it. You can see the little bits in this one, whereas in the Super Chick, you can't. So anyway, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's another kind of um, grape color. Um, and yeah, it looks like, like sparkling cider grape juice to me. Um, and it's called Aurora. So let's look at this one. The other purple from Zoya that made the cut, this is Zoya Savita, and this is from last year's Matte Velvet Collection. I liked the ones from this year, but I like this one better than all of the other ones that are the Matte Velvets. And this one, you have to have to wear it with a top coat if you want to spot that fuchsia flash that's going through this. I love it. I'm 
talk about three more creams that made the cut. These three are, they don't have like any shimmer in them or anything too special about them except that they have impeccable formula. They're nice and deep and luscious and they just, they're really, really soothing, like delicious, sexy colors to me. So first off, we're gonna start with a polish by La Shaw. You know I love La Shaw so much. This is actually one of the only La Shaw polishes that I have in full size because you can get the mini ones for such a good price at basically the same um, size of like a julep, which is another one I'm gonna mention here in a second. So you could get the big old La Shaw ones, but you don't necessarily have to. Um, but I do have this one in full size and it's called Wild Berry and the color is just so pretty. A berry purple, I don't really have too many of those in this cut, so I wanted to make sure I included this one. I love it so much. I actually really thought everything in the collection that this one was in was super, super good, so let's check out this one. All right, I only included two China Glaze polishes in this lineup, even though I had like six originally like set up, and then I just kind of cut a bunch of them out because there was just way too much stuff to include for you guys. But this one still um, stands out for me. It's from not this year, but in 2014, the Giver Collection. This is History of the World. I wanted to include this as my favorite like deep, deep polish, or purple. It's not so deep that you can't tell it's purple. In fact, it does have a lot of gray white tones in it because um, it's not like a, like a deep inky purple. It's definitely deep, but you can still see the, a lot of the gray there. So I love this one a lot, it has a great formula. I'm telling you guys, these purple polishes just make my world. Maybe this, this might be, I don't know if I'm getting myself in trouble here with my future self, but I could perhaps live on purple polish alone. I don't know if you guys are with me on that, but I love it so much. This uh, last one that's just a straight up cream that I'm gonna show you, this is Julep Gale. I may have included this last year. I love this so much. The formula is great. It's like a one coater, it's a deep, a deep berry purple. It's deeper than the berry from La Shaw that I showed you. This is so luscious and delicious. I will cry my head off when this bottle is gone, which who am I kidding? When is this bottle ever going to be gone even though it's a little teeny tiny bottle of julep? Um, but I have so many polishes. That would be pretty silly if I ever ran out of a specific polish. However, now that I've said that, I'm probably going to like accidentally dump this or something and then I really will be crying. So anyway, I love this so much, Gale. It's G-A-Y-L-E. Let's take a look. All right, there's only two polishes left. Um, I, I'll, I'll start with this one. I'm sad um, that Colt Nails actually isn't um, making polishes anymore. It's really, really sad. They were actually one of my very first purchases of polish. Um, actually, my very first Andy polish that I ever bought. But one of my very first ones that wasn't just like on sale and I was picking up like in bulk, like from Trans Design or something. Like I made a specific purchase because I really, really wanted this polish. This is Colt Nails Flushed and it is just a gorgeous, um, purple with that gold, like that coppery gold going through it. I mean, I was sensing a theme here. I love all the polishes that have copper or like a gold and purple mix here. I mean, I love all the polishes, but specifically love all those polishes. So I really love this one. And this is bittersweet because they aren't in business anymore, at least right now. Maybe they will again soon. I never know. So anyway, let's take a look at this one. And then very last, we're gonna end with the China Glaze. That's kind of fitting, because China Glaze is my favorite brand. Um, even though they may not be able to be as inventive as a lot of indie brands out there, like the ones that I showed you today, maybe they're going in that direction, we'll have to see. But I really like this one. This one is from, um, 
last year's fall collection. It's called Nice Caboose! Exclamation point. This is like a deep berry um, purple, but it has the gold shimmer going through it again. So, you know, I gotta represent me some purple with shimmer. So, I really love this one. Let's take a look. So I actually didn't take a year telling you about all these polishes. Bravo myself. I thought I was, I was like, this is going to be an hour long video for sure. Um, thank you for hanging out with me through this video. I know it's December. I need to hurry up my buns and get the rest of the videos out. I'm still going to do glitter and neutral since you guys did tell me that you want to see those. And then I'm going to round up. I'm just going to keep it to 10. Okay. We'll actually say that in this video. My 10 favorite polishes that came out this year, that will be up very last, right at the end of December. So, I hope you're having a really great day. Thanks for spending some with me. I love you guys so much. Go give your purple polish some hugs, and I will see you back next time. Bye!